Welcome to the Paradigm Cooling YouTube channel, your trusted source for HVAC tips, tricks, and expert advice. Today, we're diving into a crucial component of any HVAC system, the start capacitor. We'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to test a start capacitor to ensure your system is running at peak performance. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for more EC insights and tutorials. Let's get started. First, let's gather our tools. For this task, you'll need a multimeter capable of measuring capacitance, insulated screwdrivers, needle nose pliers, safety gloves and goggles. Safety is key when working with electrical components, so always make sure your HVAC system is completely powered off before proceeding. Step one, shut off the power. Locate the disconnect switch or circuit breaker that powers the HVAC system. Turn it off and double check with a voltage tester to ensure there's no electricity running to the unit. Step two, locate the start capacitor. Start capacitors are typically cylindrical or oval-shaped components found within the electrical compartment of your HVAC unit. Look for a label indicating the microfarad or mumu F rating and voltage. This information is crucial because it tells you what range your capacitor should operate within. If the readings fall outside this range, the capacitor might be faulty. Step three, discharge the capacitor. Even when the power is off, capacitors can hold a charge. Use an insulated screwdriver to bridge the terminals and safely discharge any stored energy. Be cautious and wear safety gear for this step. Step four, remove the capacitor. Carefully disconnect the wires connected to the terminals. Take note of where each wire goes, or better yet, snap a photo for easy reference during reassembly. Step five, test the capacitor. Set your multimeter to the capacitance setting. Connect the multimeter probes to the capacitor terminals. The polarity doesn't matter for this test. Compare the reading on the multimeter with the microfarad rating printed on the capacitor. If the reading falls within the specified range, your capacitor is in good shape. If it's significantly lower or shows no reading at all, it's time for a replacement. Step six, reinstall or replace. If your capacitor is functional, reconnect the wires and secure it back into the unit. If it's faulty, replace it with a new one of the same specifications. Step seven, restore power. Once everything is reassembled, turn the power back on and test the HVAC system. Listen for smooth operation and check that it's starting up without any issues. And there you have it. Testing a start capacitor is a straightforward process that can save you time, money, and the headache of unexpected system failures. Remember, if you're ever unsure or uncomfortable working with electrical components, it's always best to call a professional. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and subscribe to the Paradigm Cooling channel for more HVAC expertise. Until next time, stay cool and efficient.